How many hours of weekly exercise is optimal for health? To help answer that, let's have a look at a study that was published last month where they identified a U-shaped association for the duration of sports activities with all-cause mortality risk. So first, what did these sports activities include? So PA, or physical activity, included tennis, badminton, soccer, and handball, but also more commonly performed uh, sports activities or exercises, including cycling, swimming, jogging, calisthenics, health club activities, and weightlifting. Now, associations for low levels of physical activity with all-cause mortality risk make sense because that's been shown in previous studies, but is too much physical activity actually bad for health? So let's have a look at the data. So first, this was a study of about 8,800 people that had an average age of about 57 years, and starting with a baseline assessment of weekly duration of sports activities, uh, deaths were followed up up to 26 years later, so this is a relatively long study. And then let's have a look at data for the fully adjusted model, which they've defined as the extended multivariate model. So uh, after looking at the association for duration of sports activities with all-cause mortality risk, they included these other variables in the model because they may confound the association between duration of sports activities with all-cause mortality. So when uh, first looking at the reference, in this case, which was defined as people who exercise from 2.6 to 4.5 hours per week, so that's about 20 to 40 minutes a day, we can see that having lower levels of weekly exercise, so 0 to 2.5 hours per week, was associated with significant increases for all-cause mortality risk. 41% for people who reported no weekly exercise and 21% increase for people who reported up to 2.5 hours per week for these exercises. So also, look at, look at the data for more than 10 hours per week. We can see also a significantly increased all-cause mortality risk of 22%. So that's why both low and high levels of physical activity or that U-shaped association uh, is present for uh, significantly increased all-cause mortality risk. So what's contributing to these associations? So let's have a look at some of the data that they presented in the paper, including smoking, BMI, sex, and age. So first, let's start with current and former smokers. So when compared with the reference, which in this case, again, was 2.6 to 4.5 hours of these sports activities per week, we can see that both lower and higher levels of uh, weekly exercise was associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. So what about never smokers? So again, starting with the reference, we can see that both lower amounts of weekly sports activity, so less than two and a half hours per week, but also more than 4.6 hours per week were not significantly associated, which I've delineated as NS, with an increased all-cause mortality risk. So from this, we can conclude that that U-shaped association that's mentioned in the title of this paper for weekly uh, sports activities with an increased all-cause mortality risk is significant only in current and former smokers and not in never smokers. So which other variables may be driving this U-shaped association? So let's have a look at body mass index. And starting with uh, people who were of a normal weight, which is a BMI between 18.5 and 24.9 kilograms per meter squared. So first, again, looking at the reference, when compared with the reference, we can see that there was an increased all-cause mortality risk for people who were sedentary who reported no weekly sports activities. But people who reported more than 4.6 hours per week of these exercises did not have a significantly increased all-cause mortality risk. So from that, we can conclude that there is no U-shaped association for the duration of weekly sports activities with all-cause mortality risk in people with a BMI between 18.5 and, and 24.9. All right, so what about in overweight and obese people? So uh, overweight is classified as a BMI of 25 to 30, and obese is classified as having a BMI greater than 30. So again, starting with the reference, or when compared with the reference, we can see significant increases for all-cause mortality risk for weekly duration of sports activities that were less than two and a half hours per week, and also higher uh, uh, people who reported sports activities that were higher than 4.6 hours per week also had a significantly increased all-cause mortality risk, so there we do see the U-shaped association for an increased all-cause mortality risk uh, in people with a BMI of greater than 25, but not in people who had a BMI of between 18 and a half and 24.9. All right, so let's take this further. Let's have a look at how the data looks in men and women. So let's start with the data uh, in women. Uh, and when compared with the reference, again, uh, people who, uh, women who reported uh, weekly duration of weekly sports activities for 2.6 to four and a half hours per week, we can see that only zero uh, hours per week sedentary uh, behavior was associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk in women. But more than 4.6 hours per week was not significantly so associated with mortality risk. 
So from that, we can conclude that there was no U-shaped association for the duration of weekly sports activities with all-cause mortality risk in women. So what about the data in men? So again, when compared with the reference, we can see that having uh, men who reported uh, exercising less than two and a half hours per week had significant increases for all-cause mortality risk. And similarly, men that reported uh, uh, duration of weekly sports activities that were greater than 4.6 hours per week also had an increased, significantly increased all-cause mortality risk. So from this, we can see that that U-shaped association for weekly sports activities with an increased all-cause mortality risk is significantly, significant only for men and not for women. All right, so let's go through one more of these. Uh, let's have a look at age. So in uh, people that were younger than 60 years old, when compared with the reference, only people who were younger than 60 that reported no sports activities, no weekly sports activities, sedentary behavior, was associated with an increased all-cause mortality risk. But people younger than 60 that reported exercising more, so uh, 4.6 to greater than 10 hours per week, that was not significantly associated with all-cause mortality risk. So for people younger than 60, there is no U-shaped association for the duration of weekly sports activities with all-cause mortality risk. So what about in people older than 60? So again, when compared with the reference, we can see that people who exercised for less than two and a half hours per week had significant increases for all-cause mortality risk, but people who reported exercising more than 4.6 hours per week and greater than 10 hours per week did not have significant increases for all-cause mortality risk. So that U-shaped association for duration of weekly sports activities with all-cause mortality risk is not significant in people younger than 60 or in people older, older than 60. So from this, we can conclude that there is no U-shaped association for this association with weekly sports activities for the duration of that with all-cause mortality risk in people of any age. So to take it back to the title where they uh, stated that there was a U-shaped association between the duration of sports activities and mortality, uh, I wish that they would, clarif would have clarified this and you know, uh, put this more up front, where this is true only in current and former smokers, in men, and in people with a BMI of greater than 25, at least in this study. Note that the U-shaped association was not significantly associated with all-cause mortality risk, for uh, never smokers, for women, and for people who had a BMI less than 25. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.